Hello everyone. I am Gaurav Saini, managing partner at Eco Chemicals. We have been successfully operating in the global maritime industry for over 25 years, supplying specialized cleaning chemicals and equipment for cargo hold, cargo tanks and general cleaning. Chemicals from our trademark brand Mark Lee are of exceptional quality, IMO approved and endorsed by tank coating manufacturers in line with Marco regulations. With our stock points located in more than 30 countries worldwide, each client is assured of our 24 by 7 availability and access to our services is made seamless and easy by our dedicated team. Tico Chemicals provides ready expertise and complete turnkey solutions including de-slopping, de-mucking, sludge disposal, chemicals and equipment supply, supercargo services, tank inspection and remote tank cleaning for your vessels converting from DPP to CPP at worldwide ports. We have accomplished several record-breaking dirty to clean product conversions which include vessel class, capacity of MR, LR1, AFRAMAX, LR2 and even VLCC. In this video, we will introduce the complex supercargo procedure of switching your cargo tanks from DPP to CPP. With our comprehensive process, we will help you formulate your cleaning plan and remotely monitor it. You will be able to make the switch at a much lower cost and in a timely, efficient manner. DPP or dirty petroleum products have a larger residual footprint. Some examples of DPP cargos are crude oil, fuel oil, dirty condensate and waxy distillate. CPP or clean petroleum products are markedly different in nature, including gas oil, gasoline, jet A1, and naphtha. When switching between DPP and CPP cargo, special tank cleaning and preparations are required to avoid cargo contamination. Generally, internal visual inspection by charter appointed surveyors may be required for acceptance for loading. From the moment you approach Eco Chemicals for consultation on your cleaning operations, we will guide you through the entire process from analysis until you clear inspection for acceptance for loading. We will start by requesting you to complete our detailed questionnaire which will give us important information such as size of vessel, type of cargo pumping system, size and number of cargo tanks, number of fixed and portable tank cleaning machines available, cargo tank coating, and previous cargoes carried by the vessel. We will advise and work with the vessel's master to draw up a detailed cleaning plan that will be customized to your specific requirements. Following this plan, you will commence the preparation of the tanks. Step 1 will be the initial washing of cargo tanks. Here all cargo lines will be flushed, pumped and collected back into the slop tank. Next in step 2, enough seawater must be collected in the slop tank to wash cargo tanks with seawater at temperature of between 40 to 50 degrees Celsius for the duration of 1 hour per tank. This will all be collected back into the slop tank. In step 3, collect more water in the slop tank and butterworth the cargo tanks with the hot sea water between 70 to 80 degrees Celsius for approximately 6 hours. At this point, if this process is performed at the correct temperatures and pressure, the product fluidity will be maintained well. The residues will gravitate towards the tank bottom to be stripped along with the wash water. While performing these steps, the quality of wash water must be checked periodically and changed if found dirty. Alternatively, the water can be decanted and transferred between the slop tanks to reduce slop quantity. Upon completion of steps 1 to 3, step 4 involves the ventilation of tanks for safe man entry. In step 5, a worker can safely enter the cargo tanks and perform an internal visual inspection of the tanks to determine the amount of sludge or sediments which are left over from the previous cargoes. The amount of chemicals required and duration of washing and recirculation can then be determined. Through our remote support, we will advise on these calculations. You can then commence demucking of the cargo tanks. In step 6, after completion of demucking, we will advise appropriate chemicals and quantities to be mixed in the slop tank for recirculation in the cargo tanks. This process 
is important to remove remaining residues from the tank surfaces. For chemical recirculation, we recommend the use of 3-5% solution of Marklin S60+. Marklin S60 Plus is a heavy duty solvent based NLS cargo tank cleaner. It is excellent for the removal of fuel oil residues, paraffin, waxes, and mineral oils, leaving virtually no film in the cargo tanks. Marklin S60 Plus has shown proven results even in use with sea water when the required temperature and pressure is maintained. Following this, the cargo tanks will need to be recirculated with Marklin S60 Plus for approximately 6 hours. We recommend using both fixed and portable machine for this process of chemical recirculation. Portable machine should be rigged at different levels during this process for increased coverage and targeting shadow areas. The chemical solution need to be periodically either spiked or changed depending on observed dirt. Temperature should be maintained between 60 to 65 degrees Celsius during chemical recirculation. After completion of chemical recirculation, the cargo tanks will require 4 hours of butter worthing with hot sea water to remove chemical remains from tanks and lines. It is important to ensure that cargo pumps are well rotated during the preceding stages of washing so that all associated cargo pumps and pipes are well flushed. Operators should note that excessive presence of soot deposits can present a challenge to pass through the internal visual inspection of cargo tanks. To avoid this, manual cleaning with Marklin SC is highly recommended at this stage to achieve a successful inspection. Marklin SC is one of the strongest water-based cleaning and degreasing agents available in the world today. It is ideal for removing soot and cleaning of extremely dirty tanks after storage of mineral oils or petroleum products. Marklin SC can be used as the last step to manually clean the IG soup deposits. Following this, the tanks need to be rinsed with fresh water, mopped and dried. Thereafter, pump rooms, trainers, separators will be opened, drained and bilges pumped out. As the final step, washing in the slop tank should be decanted and discharged through ODME as much as possible and the remainder should be de to the barge or shore. Once these steps are completed, the vessel is ready for a complete inspection before the next CPP cargo is loaded. We hope this comprehensive overview of the DPP to CPP cleaning process enhances your understanding of each step and our meticulous attention to detail as this crucial task is performed. Tico Chemicals promises to focus on personalized service, excellent logistics, and technical proficiency to effectively reduce our partner's turnaround time, cost, and environmental impact. Experience our advanced products and services through a consultation with our qualified team who will be able to provide commercial information on cost so that you can make an informed decision about your next cleaning operation. We look forward to working with you.